so i'm going to explain how to create this landing gear components so we have strut then two swellings upper swelling lower swelling then piston wheel hub shaft uh, tire wheel etc and all so we'll create one by one so these are all the dimensions so first we'll start with that uh, strut so this is the hollow cylinder with the mounting brackets on the top and sides so first we'll create that hollow cylinder so go to start mechanical design power design select any plane now we are in the sketcher window so i am going to create from the top view that is i am going to make three circles concentric circles then i know the dia of each circle the outer one is so first the inner one i will take inner one is 80 then second one is 90 and the outer one is 100 okay so i have created all three circles now we exit then i am going to use the instead of normal pad i am going to use the multi pad so that all three circles i can project it to the different length you see first one is the inner one inner one height from the top is 30 plus 50 plus 320 it is totally 400 then the second one is which is having 90 dia which is 30 plus 50 that means 80 mm we have to extrude then the outer circle is just a 30 mm you test to so this way i have created a solid strut first then i will create all those mounting brackets on the top side etc and all finally i will go for the hollow that is uh, removal of material then to create that this top and uh, side brackets i can choose any one normal plane okay one is in is inclined not in show so here also at a time i can create all this top and side brackets then i can go for the multi pad or if you want you can create separately also first top bracket first you create it then separate pad then go to new sketch then side bracket then separate pad like that also you can proceed so i will go for the uh, multi pad so i am going to create all these side bracket sketch so i am going to use this profile tool bar profile tool so to convert the sharp corner into rounded one you have to use this sketch tool okay one profile i have drawn so on this and this should be tangent and this line should be a vertical line and okay it already it is coincided with the axis then this should be symmetry this line should be symmetry about this axis then even center there is another one circle and they are given uh, both circle dias so outer is 40 okay outer dia is 40 and inner dia is 20 and these two circle should be the concentric circles and this circle center point should coincide with this axis okay so this is your channel 20 this is 40 sorry dia is 40 then they are given the height from center point to this one just 30 
then they have given the this line length which is 62 now it has become green same way we will create it for the side and bottom brackets so I will use the same profile tool or I will this time I will show that in a different method just for example so I will create two concentric circles then I may use this profile toolbar a uh, profile tool this is another method so this is inner is 30 outer is 50 and this length is 63.31 just I am drawing it and see these two lines are tangent now this line and this circle should be tangent you give tangency then no distance between the center point and this line is 75 dimension using this blue color uh, dots then distance between this center point and the axis is 100 then these two points should be symmetry about this point uh, okay that is if it is the axis we will call that as the symmetry and if you are giving equal distance between the points then this is called equidistance point so if you expand you can find this equidistance point and uh, that's it then they have mentioned from center point to top it is 180.08 because we have to make this as green color so you have to give all the constraints so this is 180.08 okay now we can delete the this unwanted uh, curve so this way also you can create it ok so either complete profile tool or two concentric circles in profile tool ok and the bottom another one profile is there so any method you use and then next I have to make this as tangent see the mouse operations if you hold the center wheel this is like a pan if you hold the center wheel around ok and if you hold center wheel and the right click ok if you hold both it will be a, then you drag it will be like a rotate ok so you have to hold the center wheel and right click uh, button both if you hold it will be like a rotate or if you hold the center wheel and just to one click on the right click button and drag it will be like a zoom in zoom out so center wheel alone if you hold pan center wheel and right click if you hold and drag it will be rotate center wheel hold and right click just to one click alone you leave it then you drag it is like a zoom in zoom out ok this is the mouse shortcuts so you can use this normal view to bring the profile in its uh, normal direction normal view to the screen ok so here they have given this distance is 51.1 then from the center point of this edge it is 40 then this dias 30 
the distance between this center point and this line is between this blue color dot 35 the distance between this point and the center axis between the red color point it is 60 then I have to make these two points should be equal distance with the center point distance point now you can draw that another circle with the die of 15 and I need this same profile on the other side also so I can use this mirror too I can mirror with respect to this axis so now I got all four profiles okay now I can use this multi pad that is if you expand the pad you can see this multi pad so select just any one sketch so all four will be selected so now we are getting totally eight that means this outer profile inner circle like that everywhere two two profiles are there totally eight it is showing so first one if you select it is showing this outer line okay and here you see it is expanded to 20 mm and I needed this to be in the symmetrical way so I should not expand only in one direction for example 20 you give and preview you see it is expanded in only one direction but I need this to be as a symmetry so I should give 10 here and if you give expand this more another limit you should give 10 so that it is creating on both sides now ok so previously only one side 20 now you see about the center it is 20 so this I have created then second domain so this one same way 10 and 10 preview and then this profile if you see so 15 plus 30 plus 15 actually there is a cut in the center first let me make it as a complete solid then I can make a pocket for this rectangular profile to make this as a two separate hinges then the next sketch will be center one so I should expand this for 30 on both sides totally it will be 60 then this will be fourth one this is also 15, 15 I have to expand on both sides ok now this remaining sketch 5 to 8 you should not select because those are all the internal circles there also if you use some some thickness then there also material will be filled but what we need is the hollow so you should not give any uh, thickness that is proportion length to these circles ok so we made all the side brackets then we will remove the material here so you can see this top view on the bottom so as it is inclined one on this we cannot create any profile either we have to offset a plane here or in this case I can take this top plane or this top flat surface to create the sketch so I will use fit all in it came to the screen this is the bottom view use normal view now it is the top view ok now you can see the top view difference in this pdf you can see there is a slot now it is fully filled now we will remove that so first time drawing on rectangular profile I am making this as tangent to the circle it is tangent then it should be symmetry about the axis then the length of this should be 30 that is slot thickness is 30 yeah. and this length you no need to worry because there is no material hmm? it can be outside also not an issue now the profile is here now I am going to remove the material for this profile using the pocket tool if you expand it is going on the opposite direction to change the direction you have to use this reverse direction ok 
if you go above 200 something it will be material will be removed so that straight away you can enter the value maybe 200 or 250 something okay now material got removed then the bottom side see now we are getting the solid line outer edge and this direct lines inside the portion all the things you are seeing if you want you can change the view here okay we can see only the outer edges if you want or if you can see with the inner edges also like that everything you can change it or without any edges all the view you can change it here so now i have to make a slot hole here you see first circle of 45 mm dia we remove the material for 5 mm then another one circle of dia 70 mm which goes up to this top portion okay so for that i will create the sketch on this bottom <coughs> so this is 45 mm here just i will use normal pad for 5 mm first remove then on this slotted face you create another one sketch now draw another circle of dia 70 mm this you extrude to you see the direction is outside it is trying to come in this way but we have to remove the material in other direction so change the direction now it is going inside the distance is so totally 400 bottom 5 top 15 so remaining is 380 for 380 we have to remove the material that's it the strut is created so within that piston will be attached so this ring ensure the piston is not coming outside okay so now this is the strut I will go for the next component. Okay, wheel hub, mechanical design, part design. So here also two uh, hollow cylinders. One is vertical and one is horizontal. First, I will go for this vertical one. Here also, first I can make one circle and pad, then another one circle and uh, pocket. I can use that or otherwise I can use the multi pad also for example one circle which has the dia of 80m then another circle which has the dia of 45mm ok assume these two circles I have drawn in the bottom face okay now use the multi pad select the first one there is the inner one so inner one um, okay first i will give the outer one for better clarity outer one distance is 120 okay so i am projecting this for 120 now inner circle there is a slot for 20 mm that means there is a material wall remaining 100 so here i am going to give 100 so for the inner circle it is 100 now preview immediately is created like this ok so you can use multi pad otherwise normal cylinder then draw this circle and make a pocket for 20 mm both is correct both are correct here also same mounting bracket and before that if you want first you can draw this this horizontal cylinders so you need one normal plate normal plane you choose it so this is the top side ok this is the bottom side so I will draw two concentric circles so outer one is 55 inner one is 40 and they mention distance between the center point and the bottom is 40 
that's it now we can simply use this pad tool so that pad will uh, create the material between these two profile okay and i can use the mirror extent so that i am getting the material on both side mirror extent and total length of this horizontal cylinder is 60 60 on both side so use 60 mo so this got created and we have to remove the material in the center so that the wheel shaft will be attached here so for that i can take this face or even in the center plane then i can create the circle or if you don't want to create you can use this project 3d element select this edge alone so the circle is projected instead of drawing it now we can use the pocket again same mirror extent I remove it so it is made now we can go for the two side brackets so for that also you have to choose the same plane so here you can create you can use the profile tool or two concentric circle and profile tool anything which you really like so first i am making this as tangent then i'll give all the distance so this is 36.53 and this dia is 25 and distance between the center point and this line is 36.53 that is missing there it should be 25 the distance between the center point and the axis is 57.5 okay now so this 25 alone it is missing distance between the line and the center point then these two points should be equal distance to the center point then there is another one concentric circle at the dia of 16 then we have to give the distance between the center point to this bottom which is 85 is mentioned that's it now same profile we have to create it using the mirror to about this axis now exit even use normal pad tool with the mirror to extend for the distance of 15 mm on both side that's it so we will have also created so in this hole you write the shaft and in the stop slot piston will be attached and these two brackets are used to attach the swellings torque links okay then the next one is the upper swelling so first i will draw this front view then we can project it to the height of 25 mm so further buster better i will draw some reference line so which defines the total length of the model so total length is 170 by plus these two radius so it is totally 200 and better i will make these two point is symmetry about the center axis okay so you have to select these two point then this axis so you have to select press the control to continuously select the point on this axis so okay now i can go for any one view as it is symmetry about the horizontal axis i can make either the top view or the bottom side of the view that is in the front view itself any one half i can draw maybe the lower portion i will draw first so just one half of the front view i'm drawing it
now we can give all the dimensions now we will change one by one so the inner is 21.99 and this is 10 this is 15 and the outer one is 26.03 and here outer one is 38.97 this inner one is 43.01 and this is 10 and this is 27.5 Okay, so we make the lower half. Then the total distance should be 200. I can give distance between these two lines, or I can simply coincide these two points. Same way here also, you can coincide with this point and this line. So that atom relay 200 is set then you can go for the center profile first I will write as a sharp corner profile then the distance between all these lines is given as 15 everywhere then there is a corner so instead of this sharp corner I am going to make this as a round corner and this radius is 11 so I can select these two lines or even I can select this center point so that's it one half is created then for the other half I am going to mirror it so first I am doing the box select Sometimes if some tools or sketch something is enabled, you cannot do for do the next step. In that case, just press exit. Okay. So now select the complete sketch. I wanted to mirror this about the original axis. So you should not select this original axis. To unselect it, press Ctrl and select this hatch so that it is unselected. Now do the mirror about this original axis. So we got the sketch. Okay, you see all these points should be of white color line. All those uh, joints should be of white color point. If it is black color, then there is an opening. You cannot create the solid model. Okay, now I can create a solid. Here also, you can make thickness for one side or some object. You may have to use the thickness on both sides. In that case, it should be 12.5. Anyway, you create it, not an issue then i have to convert the sharp edges into a rounded corner see if you use this multi view you can see okay so just a multi view if you click you can see all the views so on the right hand side top is the top view as mentioned in this pdf so it should have a curved uh, corners not the sharp corners so i have to make this as a curved one so as the same how in the 2d profile we have selected these two edges are the center point here also same procedure only almost there the tool name is corner here the tool name is fillet okay h fillet so okay just rotate okay so i have to select these horizontal edges so that about this edge it will become uh, round so at a time I can select all the edges because all are having the same radius which is 12.5 it has become curved everywhere then I have to remove the material for this center hole 
can create it on this flat surface a circle then I can packet it or even I can create it in the center plane it's up to you so two circles one is here another one is here and radius which is Fifteen dia or seven point five radius, and this circle should be tangent to this corner. And this concentricity to this corner. Similarly, this circle should be concentric to this outer corner. Now exit. Now remove the material on both sides. Simply I am leaving some 100. The same material is removed. So this is the upper swelling. It's almost same procedure for the lower swelling. Okay, little bit the profile is different. Are the same procedure. So first two, you will draw one uh, axis for the length of 155 plus 25. So 180, so totally for 180 mm you will draw on reference line, then you will make one half of the front view, okay, then you uh, mirror it, then pad it, then you have to use the H fillet tool, then you have to draw the circle and remove the material, almost same method, so you will go for the remaining components. Okay, we will create the lower swelling now. So I am taking any plane. Again, I am drawing that same procedure. I am drawing the axis with the required length. This time 155 plus 25, 180. Here also give symmetry. Then I can draw the lower side profile. Then I will draw the center profile also. Avoid the auto constraints, unnecessary auto constraints. So now we can go for the geometries. So this length, this horizontal length, these two horizontal length, and these two vertical lengths, and the mentioned distance between these two lines, between these two lines, and the length of this inner profile. Okay, you want all the required dimensions. Now we will correct it. So this should be 10. This should be 30. This should be 10. This is 50. And this is 20. And this is 30. This is also 30. This is 15. This is also 15. That's it. Now you can coincide this line at this point to get the required length. It has become green. Exit. Okay. You have to make it as a mirrored profile. Do the box select and you have to unselect the axis about which we have, we have to mirror it. Now mirror 2. Then about this axis. So we got the full profile. Now we can pad it on one side on both sides. It's up to you. Then same procedure, we will go for the edge fillet, all these horizontal edges, and radius is 12.5.
then in the middle plane I can draw the circle to make a hole so maybe last time we used the pocket tool that is first we made a circle then we used the pocket to remove it you can use this hole tool also to make a circular hole I will show you how to use that for example on this surface I am creating the hole like this ok so I need a hole dia of uh, 15mm then depth and here I will extend up to the last ok up to the last I will extend then position use this sketch tool so this center point should be concentric with this outer profile new concentricity now exit now you give this way also you can make a hole ok for example hole to on this surface and uh, dia is 15 up to last year even then positioning the center point and this circle both should be a concentric circle exit now give ok hole is made this way also you can try instead of pocket uh, you can use the hole too now you can go for the shaft flange nut bolt piston etc and uh, next one uh, maybe i'll start with this piston it is very easy that is right hand side just uh, i'm going to draw two circles then we can go for the multiple So one is 70 mm dia, another one is 45 mm dia. Now we exit, use this multi pad. This is the inner one which has to be extended for 365 plus 14.5. Then this outer one should be simply for 14.5. That's it piston is made then we can go for maybe this nut tool will go and uh, next one from the right but some dimensions are missing here see this flange screw and nut both are the co uh, combined that is this flange screw stem should be inside within this hole of the nut but wrongly they mentioned the dia you see the flange screw stem dia is 14 mm but this nut center hole dia is 12 mm so this also should be 14 mm that correction we have to do it so the center hole is of 14 mm dia then there is a hexagonal outer which has a distance of 21 that is some dimension there we have to refer this flange screw head ok the flange screw head and this nut almost are in the same dimensions so refer the flange screw head in the bottom you can see the excellent length of 21 ok so this one simply if you pad to the length of 15.81 which is given in the flange screw we got the nut this is a normal hexagon nut but they have even additional this flange plate also in plate also for only some dimensions are missing ok but if you want to create it then I am going to create only one side profile then I am going to rotate it for example any one vertical plate Okay, so I am coming inclined. Then I am going to use this profile tool. See the dimension. There is a corner. Okay. And this height dimension 3.75 but it should be double 6. 
and radius 1.08 and outer circle dia also it is missing at least it should be this is 21 mm should be around 26 which so we will design it so i am using the profile toolbar first straight line then i will go for the on curved profile ok instead of a complete semicircle i am taking just like a arc then extend that as the tangent line then join with this bottom so this profile i have drawn ok so this should be a horizontal line ok uh, horizontal line or vertical line and this is the curve and this is the inclined line and now i can give the dimensions so this should not interfere with the center hole so then this should be at least 4 mm exactly so that the center hole is not disturbed then the center point to this one should be just 10 Sorry. they mentioned 21 right that means 10.5 and this radius they mentioned 1.08 and this height they have mentioned 3 something but it should be at least a double I will go for 6 ok that's how I am designing it then exit now use the revolve tool about this axis ok given the wrong length say it is 26 right then this should be 26 means 13 ok the plate dia I have mentioned 26 which is not given here then at least this should be 13 somehow now if you revolve this profile about this center point you will get this type of view ok same thing is mentioned there Okay, this way you can read. So, as the bottom uh, circle dia is not mentioned, so we have taken 13, so it can be a little less also. So that you can adjust, but exact dimension is not given. Okay, this is how you will make the that flange nut. Okay, instead of simple nut with a flange plate, you can make it if you want. Same procedure to make this uh, French screw only one difference for example the circle you can convert if you want how to convert means so we use multi pad uh, sorry single pad instead if you have used multi pad this center circle also you can project it to the required length ok now also you can ok we will start from the beginning yeah? that's from that one one circle then one hexagon on that stem dia is 14 and this hexagonal head length is 21 so last time we used normal pad tool so it created the material between these two profiles. Now if you use this multi pad, we can project both profiles. Okay. So the inner one should be 100 plus 15.8 ohm. That means 115.8 ohm. And that outer hexagonal profile will be 15.81. ohm. This way you can create the flange screw. Here also, if you want the same profile, you can write here and screw uh, revolve it to get the additional flange plate end plate. The next one is the shaft. And here, I'm sorry, I will create it. How to create that? 
the flange plate. So I will use this profile tool, straight line, then one curved profile, just some arc, then one inclined line, then horizontal line. So this is given as 1.08 and this length is, I am taking 6 and this center point 2, this one is not defined actually, which so will take 12 or 12.5 last time you have taken. Then this line to this axis will be 7, so that the center hole is not disturbed. Then, when this is missing, then this line should be coincided with this button. That's it, it has become green. Exit, revolve about this axis. You got the heavy hex flange screw okay okay the next one is the shaft so i will draw the side profile that i can i can revolve it just the first one side i am drawing it This distance it is triple three point eight five divided by two half of the distance, and this height instead it will be inclined, then right click and change to vertical. They are given us ten point nine two. Okay, and I need the small uh, corner instead of sharp corner, I need a router corner for the dia of 12.4 from the bottom. Maybe I will uh, first I will give distance that is radius of the shaft which is 20. Okay, now one side is created. I will do mirror about the vertical axis. Then I like to do the corner between these two and this is dia of 12.41 so then to revolve or over this vertical axis I need only one side profile so draw the axis then delete these side profiles Okay, now I have profile on only one side, but I need it for the bottom side also. So select everything. So select the profile. So this axis should not be selected. Then mirror it about this axis. Now this is the complete one side profile. Now exit, use the shaft. Now this is the axis uh, shaft. Okay. Then remaining is the wheel tire arrangement. This is also simple. I will make only this cross sectional view. Then I will rotate so that easily I can create that wheel tire setup. So go to mechanical design, part design, sketch. Here also better I will draw the reference line to fix the height and the length. So this should be 150. And this length should be 26, that is 52 divided by 226. Okay, now with that reference I can create the 
one side profile so that remaining side profile i can do the mirror without this axis if you draw uh, later your profile will be distorted better you draw this axis then you start the profile you try to fix what is the total length and height then you can easily draw it so now use the profile tool and we will start somewhere here Somehow this arc is selected. So you avoid the unnecessary auto constraints. If it is necessary, you can give otherwise avoid the turn uh, auto constraints. Okay, so one side I have drawn. I will give all the required dimensions. Maybe first I will give uh, this horizontal dimensions. 26 already defined. remaining is this one and this one so this is 20 I think and this is 12 then height from the axis to this one which is the which will create the uh, what is it hole where we can insert the shaft so they mentioned this is 20 and from the axis to this point is fifty then axis to this point is seventy the axis to this length is 100 ok I fixed all original vertical distance now we will focus on this the tire uh, the extrude portions so they mentioned this length is height is 2 because totally 150 mm and uh, this side they mentioned 148 mm, the difference is 2 mm. Then they mention the first cut is of 6 mm distance, and the second one is the 5 mm distance. And the slots are having 3 mm each. distance already defined become 28 distance between these two should be 26 ok then it is remaining ok so this line and this line should be coincidence and this line and this line should be a coincidence sometimes this will happen normally it will come properly ok sometimes these two lines that coincidence is missing so you have to create it ok only one side we have made it then copy the complete profile mirror it about this vertical axis 
and exit you ensure all the points are with the white color then draw all with about this axis okay so actually this should be made separately as a rim and a tire and just we made it with a single component so if you want you can change the color of these tires for example just press control and select all these tire surfaces right click go to property you can change the color graphics black color okay everything is selected only this surface and this top surface okay so to differentiate this rim and tire i can give uh, black color on these surfaces just select that surface right click go to property you see this graphic alone will be open we change the color to black so i have chosen only one surface like this you can choose the other surfaces also for example right click on this surface for example first time selecting all this visible top surfaces then right click property this one if you view it become in black you can select that missing faces also in the top you can change that to a black color line so that it will be like, like, like a wheel and tire then ok then remaining that center holes ok there are 6 center holes so that also you can make it in two way one is so first I have to draw the circle I can write on this flat surface or on this axis anywhere you can create it first I am drawing one circle maybe with this axis they mention dia is 10 or radius is 5 and uh, distance between the axis and this one is I think 35 so one circle I made it and if now here so you can create remaining circles also using this rotate option so already one model is there now i have to create five more duplicates five instances and i have to create it with reference to the center point okay that is this circle i have to rotate so go to the operation toolbar rotate tool find five more instances i need and I am going to rotate about this center point and distance between each circle is 360 divided by 6, six. ok so now I created all the circles you can use pocket tool with the mirror extend on both sides it will be removed or another method I can make only one circle I can pocket it maybe with the mirror to extend then ok one time you pocket it remove the material on both sides ok middle rod removed now there we used to rotate to create multiple circles same option here it is called circular pattern you can use that this window will open so here we have to specify how many instances we need here there is no duplicate mode you have to specify the total number of instances that is we need totally 6 circles and it is asking which object you want to pattern so I need this small circle to be the object then reference about which reference you want to create it I can select either on this surface or on this axis then uh, distance between the objects 60 so this way also you can create okay. so either you can use rotate in the sketch otherwise circular pattern and the part design that's it